Ruby. Right folks, welcome along to another video from Gun Dog and Fly, Carmilla Fall to Rive. Now, any of you who've been watching um, Ruby's training will be aware that she had a couple of issues and uh, I've been working on them and trying to resolve them and I think at this point we have a fairly good grip on the issues and um, but what I want to do today is I'm going to pressure test her if you like I'm going to put a little temptation in her way just to see how sound the training has been so far now this has to be very carefully done you don't want to put too much temptation in her way as if you take his this here is what we call in Ireland a ditch you may call it a hedgerow or whatever you want to call it but we call this a ditch and this is what Ruby will be expected for the most part to hunt when the hunting season is open for pheasants and woodcock etc so as you can see it's a straight line You'd be, the dog would be expected to hunt within gunshot range as you walk along um, the hedgerow or the ditch or whatever you'd like to call it. I call it a ditch because that's what I'm used to calling them. So if I were to let Ruby go now and expect her to hunt this ditch as I've described that would be in my view a, tempta a temptation too much for her because when you bear in mind that her main issue was running off into the distance virtually in a straight line so what I'd be doing in that case would be I'd be making a mistake I would be supplying her a straight line on which to run if I brought her down here to hunt this ditch it's almost certainly sure that she would run off straight down the ditch because I'm providing her that opportunity so I'm not going to do that today that I will not get leave Ruby hunt any ditches until such time as she's under proper control and that running in a straight line is out of her head so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to provide a small bit of temptation out the field here away from the ditch I'm going to talk about that in just a minute good girl Ruby now Good girl, the little bit of temptation I'm going to put in Ruby's way is just this bare field. And of course, again, as I've described, one of the issues she had was this running off into the distance. In the last video, I, I showed you how I um, denied her to a degree um, her ability to see in the distance by bringing her to where there was good ground cover where when she was working or when she was running around she couldn't see that far which sort of it stops her from looking in the distance and thinking about going so I've been working on that for a while now and today will be a real test of whether or not this training is working so I'm going to bring her out the field here and I'm going to work her back towards you and I'm going to make every effort to keep her under my control and keep her close bearing in mind now that she'll be able to see quite a long ways and we'll see whether the temptation will occur now I'm going to do what I've been doing up to now as well I've brought my distraction devices in the event that she goes to if I see her looking into the distance or if there's any indication that she's going to run in um, a straight line or run away to any great degree I'm going to hopefully be able to intervene distract her with these balls so wish me luck come on Ruby oh. what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hop. I'm just going to let Ruby go hop. and trying to keep her here close to me as I've already explained and as I've already explained also if she goes to break in any direction I'm going to use the balls hopefully to distract her okay Ruby good girl good girl good girl good girl good girl good girl you can also see that I've been working on the whistle with her I'm just going to play with her a little here now. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Come on now. 
Good girl. Hey, hey, hey. If she goes a little bit far, I'm going to use my voice as well to register my disapproval. Good girl. Hop. Hey, hop, hop. Good girl. Everything's going very well so far. Good girl. Good girl. Now I'm going to give her a little reward if she behaves herself for the next couple of minutes or so. Go on. Good girl. Ruby. Good girl. Now I'm going to throw the ball for her. Good girl. She hasn't. This is another little thing we're going to have to work on is the retrieving. I've been doing a little bit at home in the yard with her. Ruby, Ruby, what's that? What's that? Now she's not a very, what I'd call a perfect retriever. She tends to run off with the ball. Now she's been doing that, but I've been trying to get her to come back to me at home in the yard. So let's see how that goes. Good girl, Ruby, what's that? What's that? What's that? Let's see what she does. Find it, Ruby. Good girls, good girls, off she goes. I'm just going to turn my back to her. Good girls, Ruby. Ruby, 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 good girl, good girl. Now she dropped the ball, but she did bring it to me, or at least in my direction. So we're going to work on that a little bit here now. Hey, Ruby, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Whoop! Who's a great girl? Try to encourage her in. Who's a great girl? She's dropped it. Find it, find it, girl, find it. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby! Ruby. Ruby. Yeah, she understands the game now. She wants me to throw it for her, don't you? Good girls. Anyway, that's for another day. Um, as you can see, there's a big improvement. Ruby. Ruby, Ruby. Hey. Hop. That's a huge improvement on what she was. There's a little bit of temptation, i.e. she could see, and she didn't run off. She didn't make any attempt to run off either, so she's happy to be around me now and uh, enjoying herself. And I think it's down to the bond more than anything and the simple training techniques that um, has made the improvement. Now, bear in mind that Ruby's only seven months. She has a lot to learn yet. Hasn't even heard a shot, for example. That's something I'll be working on in a future video, along with quite a lot of other stuff as well. So I'm very happy with how Ruby is progressing. So I hope you'll join me in the next video where who knows what aspect of her training I'll be working on, but I'm enjoying it and so is she. So once again, thanks very much for joining me here at Gundog and Fly. And from Ruby here, Agus Oim Fein. Good evening, Kea Dorele. Good day, Chef Sloan. Ruby, she's a great girl. She's a great girl. It's a great girl.